Well, teenagers divided by conflict are in San Diego for a program called Hands of Peace, empowering them to be leaders of change. It can be emotional. Many of the Middle East teens have lived through violence and loss. And 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis was there as the students traveled to the border sharing their stories. One, two, three, four, No matter how different they may seem, here they're just... I think they're human. Humans from Palestine, Israel, the U.S., and Mexico working to tear down the different walls that divide their lives. Every single person's story surprises you. Um, hearing people's stories is hard. Telling your own story is hard. What are we going to do? But before they open up, an icebreaker. El pescado! Woo! The bird, the bird who speaks. I wanted to join Hands of Peace because I wanted to get to know other perspectives and I wanted to know how the other side feels and thinks. The teens were brought here to see that borders affect all of us, even if they may look different around the world. Our border is basically like a very, very tall wall, so you can't see the, the other side and there is like Israeli security everywhere, so it's different than here. Mohammed is Palestinian and usually has little interaction with Israeli teens. We worry about safety because as you know, there's no guarantee that you're going to be safe when you cross the, the border. As a Mexican-American, being here at the border is really important for me because this is part of my story. Opening up and sharing their stories shows they're human, no matter where they were born. In my own community, there are lots of undocumented immigrants. Um, so being near the border, it's a very tense environment. Each team will bring critical thinking tools and a new perspective to their divided communities in hopes to someday bring peace. That's why, why I'm here. At the border. If I'm not hopeful, I wouldn't be here. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News.